Welcome to Cook, Pray, and Eat. Thanks for watching today. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and of course at our website, cookprayandeat.com. Uh, today, uh, we're setting up for the big party, Super Bowl. Uh, so we're going to walk through several different recipes, some of your favorite treats uh, to get ready for having all your, all your friends over and family to watch the big game. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to do uh, cheese dip and sausage, uh, wings, homemade mozzarella sticks, cowboy caviar, pasta salad, buffalo chicken spring rolls, fried pickles. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're set it up real nice. It's going to be delicious and uh, hope you can make your party uh, just as good. Thanks. Stay tuned. This is our buffalo chicken spring rolls. Um, you can use um, anything really, uh, any kind of meat and mixture that you want uh, for your spring rolls. Um, I decided to do just some buffalo chicken mixed together with a little bit of cheese um, and, and then drop them into the fryer as well. We're gonna fry these up, um, super delicious. It should be fantastic. So uh, a couple things that you're going to need, uh, not a whole lot of utensils, something to, to scoop your chicken out. Uh, a little bit later, you can use a spoon for that as well. I'm going to put them into a little storage container uh, because I'm going to stick them into the freezer a little bit just to harden them up and uh, not quite ready to cook them yet um, as well. Uh, the other thing is uh, we're going to have to uh, cook our chicken so you can boil the chicken um, or stick it into a crock pot. I'm going to stick it in a crock pot for uh, three or four hours uh, just to get it all the way cooked and tender, uh, and then we're going to shred it. So with shredding it, you can do a couple of options. Uh, you can use two forks and, and just put them together and pull it apart just to shred uh, the chicken there. Uh, I learned a little trick a long time ago. Uh, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid uh, to do that. So you stick it in the bowl and, and run it like a mixer and it kind of shreds it all up really well uh, and really thin, makes it super easy to make things just like this. Um, as far as ingredients goes, uh, you're gonna need two to three chicken breasts, depending on how many uh, people that you're going to be serving. Uh, one egg, this is just for sealing our uh, our wrap um, once we put everything together. Um, about a half a cup of buffalo wing sauce. I love the Sweet Baby Ray's uh, buffalo sauce, so we're going to use that. And about a cup of shredded cheese. Uh, this is a mix of Jack and Cheddar uh, that I really like to use all the time. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our chicken into uh, what I'm using is the crock pot and go ahead and get that cooked and then we'll shred it up and uh, and be ready to go to start assembling. Grabbed a couple of our chicken breasts out of the crock pot that are all done and cooking and I'm going to stick this into uh, my KitchenAid here. I've got my couple of chicken breasts uh, in the KitchenAid right now, mixing together, uh, just shredding it up nice and, and thin so we can put it into our wraps. Uh, it's getting quite there. I'll go ahead and while that's mixing, I'll go ahead and add my buffalo sauce. Makes it easier than stirring it together. Super easy. We're all mixed together there. I'll drop it into my bowl. Okay. And we're just going to uh, take, I've taken all these wraps out of the package and then kind of layered them out to, just to make it a little bit easier for me. Um, but I'm just going to place this on the table here and get. Uh, I'm gonna use my little my little scooper here. Maybe two of them. All right, a little bit of cheese, and I'm just gonna roll it up. Just 
just like this. And then when we get to the end, I take my egg, give it a nice little egg wash right here on the ends. And that will help seal our roll. Place it in my little storage bin here. And then I'm going to stick it in the fridge once I get all of it done. All set, have them all wrapped together. Uh, I'm going to put them in this container, slap a lid on it, and just put them in the fridge until I'm ready to drop them into the fryer. Uh, so, again, you've got your options as far as how you're cooking it. I'm going to use a deep fryer uh, up to 350 degrees. If you want to use a deep skillet uh, with cooking oil in it, again, if when you're heating it up to 350, do not put a lid on it. It will cause a fire. Um, and then your other option would be uh, in an air fryer. Uh, you'll have to check the instructions on how long to cook these in an air fryer from there. Uh, once they come out, serve them up with whatever dipping sauce that you like. Uh, ranch, blue cheese, um, spicy ranch would be a good one as well. Um, and then uh, serve it on from there. We have our buffalo chicken egg rolls um, served with ranch or any other dipping sauce that you choose to. Uh, we had these come out of the fridge. They were in there for a couple hours. Uh, drop them in the fryer for about three to four minutes. Come out nice and crispy and warm on the inside. Here's your buffalo chicken spring rolls. Remember to bless it before you eat and enjoy.